Living started in 2013 after we lost a very good man in the name of Dwayne Lally to a mental illness. They say death by suicide affects 115 people, but you can't even put a number on it. The ripple effect that the loss of one life had on thousands of people far outweighed what I've ever experienced in my entire life. I received a call saying he'd gone missing. I was uh, driving around the whole of the Gold Coast looking for him. I had no idea where to find him. Dwayne O was an avid boxing man, very talented. Life of the party, very charismatic, extremely passionate. Loving, loyal, he was very cheeky. Mental illness is costing many people their lives every single day. While I'm sitting here speaking, people are taking their life and it's because there's people suffering in silence. One in five people suffer from some form of mental illness and suicide is the leading cause of death between the ages of 15 and 44. You can look for things like not getting out of bed of a morning, being socially disconnected, loss of appetite, change in mood, change in behaviour, lack of self-esteem. Dwayne suffered from depression and bipolar for a number of years and the stigma kept him quiet. So we wanted to turn that negative into a positive and if the shoe was on the other foot, I'm sure Dwayne would have done the same. We're just doing what you know, he would have done. Hi, my name's Dan Price. I don't know where I'd be if I didn't connect with living, but I certainly wouldn't be as well as I am today. I was uh, suicidal and, and tried to take my life on the 4th of December 2014. I was very lucky to survive. I didn't want people to know that I was struggling because of the stigmas around mental illness. We noticed that there were plenty of great service providers in this country, but all too common people weren't seeking help because of this stigma. So we wanted to bridge that gap. As males, we're extremely tough. We want to we want to be the tough people, the ones that have all the answers, the ones that don't want to admit our vulnerabilities and our weaknesses. You might not have the answers, but if you can offer support and just listen to them, that could be what they need in that moment of time. I was an alpha male and a popular guy, and I didn't want people to think I was weak, and that's why I love the message um, that Livin presents, which is it ain't weak to speak. We go all around the country businesses, sporting clubs, teaching people that it ain't weak to speak. What we're really doing is educating them in how to speak, where to speak, and then we're educating people on how to listen and, and how to look for these warning signs because without one you can't really have the other. It's all about being honest and open. You know, if something's off, just, just ask them. That's what living's all about, taking that stigma away and giving people hope, help, connection, and giving them the confidence to speak up and, and seek the help when they need it and when they deserve it. We believe with education comes understanding, with understanding comes acceptance, and with acceptance comes hope. I want to change the way the world understands, perceives, and interprets mental health. Let's change the dynamics in which this is looked at. For far too long, it's been a stigma. We're going to make this a dinner table conversation, the same way that we'd put our hand up and run for help if we had a broken leg. Don't be afraid to have those you know, hard-hitting, confronting conversations, because it could save a lot. I'm the happiest I've ever been in my life and living has been an instrumental in changing my life for the better. If in doubt, reach out because there's a lot of people out there that want to help and support you making that change to get back on track to start living again.